Hi, welcome to Stream Developers. In this video, we will build an iOS chat messaging application using Swift and UI Kit. We will use Stream's iOS chat SDK, allowing developers to build fully functional chat experiences. Our sample chat messaging application will have the following features. There is an offline support allowing you to send and edit messages and also send reactions while offline. The app supports link previews which generate automatically when we send a link. You can tap and hold a message to send emoji reactions and also use the paper clip icon to send attachments like PDFs, files, images, sound and videos. The app also supports threads so you can start message threads to reply to messages. We will begin by creating a new UIKit app in Xcode. Then we will set privacies for camera and photo library usage. We will install the chat SDK and configure it to work with the UIKit app. Next, we will test the chat messaging application we built in this tutorial. And finally, I will show you some basic customization options. You can read an article version of this tutorial by heading to getstream.io. Under developers, you select chat messaging and go to SDKs, then you select iOS. Over here, we have two tutorials, one for Swift UI and one for UIKit. So you select the UIKit tutorial and scroll down. So this is the same tutorial we are going to build in this video. So I encourage you to check this later. If you are new to stream, you can also sign up for a new stream account by going to the top right and clicking start coding free. Then you should fill out this form. You can also create an account with Google or you can select GitHub. You can find the final project in this GitHub repo, Stream Tutorial Projects. Over here, you have to scroll down a bit and select iOS Swift. I have added it as a zip file that is swiftchatmessaging.zip. So I encourage you to grab it from here and test the app yourself. I have already prepared a final project in Xcode. So let's run it now so that you see the major features I mentioned earlier. We are now in Xcode. You can see here the iPhone 15 Pro simulator is selected. So let's run the app. That presents the built-in channel list with a particular user. So we can click any of the list items to launch the message list. Here we can scroll through the list of messages, tap and hold to react to any message. We can type a message to send it. Tap and hold the message to add a reply. You can also start thread reply. The lightning icon can be used to send commands by Jiffy commands. You can also attach document, files, images, videos, and photos. Basically, this is what you will build in this tutorial. So let's begin by creating a new UIKit app in Xcode. Let's go to the toolbar and click File. Then I will select New and Project. Here we leave the platform as iOS and also the application as app and click next. Let's call it Swift Chat Messaging and click next. Then we choose a location to save it. So we now have a blank UIKit project in Xcode. Since this is a chat messaging application, before we can launch it, we need to add permissions to access the user's camera and photos gallery or photos library. To set these privacies in Xcode, we select the root folder and head to the info tab. If I hover on any of the key items here, you can see there is a plus icon. Let's click that to add a new privacy. I will scroll to the privacy section and select camera usage description. Next, we have to specify the value as a string, but we can also leave it empty to get a default string from the system. So this is our camera usage description. Let's also add the photos library description by clicking the plus icon. I will scroll to the privacy category again and select this option, photo library usage description. I will also leave the value field empty to get a default string from the system. So we now have two privacies, one for the camera and one for the photo library. The next thing we should do is to install the iOS chat SDK so that we can display the list of built-in channels. To install the SDK, I will go to the toolbar and select file and choose the option add package dependencies. In the search bar on the top right, I'm going to paste this link. 
I will add the link to the description of the video. This is going to fetch the Streamchat SDK for iOS from GitHub. Under dependency rule, we leave the setting as up to next major version and click add package. That will take a while to load the SDK, so let's wait for a moment. The Swift Chat SDK consists of two components. We have StreamChat. The StreamChat component does not contain any UIs, so this option is useful if you need to create a completely custom chat messaging experience with your own UI implementation. In our demo app, we need the StreamChat component, so we should add it to the target. The next component is StreamChat UI. This is a UI kit wrapper of reusable Swift UI components. Once you select this option, you get ready-made UI components, like a container holding a list of messages, message input, chat bubble, ready-made reaction icons, and more. We need this component as well in our demo app, so let's add it to the target and click Add Package. You have noticed here, under Package Dependencies, we now have Stream Chat as a dependency. We have now set privacies for camera and photos library and also successfully install the chat SDK. We should now configure the chat SDK to work with the UIKit app. First, I will select appdelegate.swift. In this file, we should create a globally accessible shared instance of the stream chat client and also initialize its connection when the app starts. So let's import stream chat here and create our globally accessible shared instance of the stream chat with an extension. In the chat client extension, we specify the shared instance. Next, let's open viewcontroller.swift. In this file, we should remove everything and add our own implementation. So over here, I will import stream chat and also stream chat UI. Over here, what we should do is to fetch the channels which a particular user belongs to and also display it. So let's create a class demo channel list and make it conform to the SDK's chat channel list view controller. So this is all we need to do in viewcontroller.swift. Our next configuration should be done in scenedelegate.swift. In this file, we should replace the content of the scene method. We don't need the other methods here, so we can delete all of them. We are not going to implement any of them. So let's delete them. In the same method, let's remove everything here and add our own implementation. First, we should import stream chat. Next, over here, we will create a configuration object and initialize it with an API key. So here we have an empty string. We will come back to that later. In step two of configuring the SDK, we should specify a user ID and user token. So let's create a user ID here. That will be an empty string. We will also specify the user token. That will also be an empty string for now. Next, we should create an instance of the chat client and initialize it with an API key. The API key for this demo app works only in stream tutorial environment. For your own application, you can sign up for a stream account by going to the stream website. On the top right, you can start coding for free. If you're new to stream, here you have to fill this information to create a new account. You can also sign up with Google account or a GitHub account. I will select the Google option to sign in. Once you sign in to your stream dashboard, you can head to the top right and click create app to create a new app. So here you need to fill all this information to create a new app. We already have the credentials that work for this tutorial. So I'm going to cancel everything. After creating a new app, for example, let's select this one. You can use your API key and the secret to generate a user token using our token generator service. What you should do here is to add the app secret. You copy the secret from here and paste it in this field and add the app ID. You can also find the app ID over here and use it to generate a user token. From the dashboard, you can also create a new channel and a new user by going to Explorer. You can see here we have channels and users. If you click channels, you can add a new channel by clicking the plus icon. And also you can add a new user by clicking the plus button. We already have the credentials that work with our chat demo. So I will paste the API key here 
and add the user ID and token. I just showed you how to sign up for a stream account. For more information, you can check out the token and authentication section of our documentation. Let's move on to our fourth step. Over here, we should create a connect user method. With the connect user method, we specify two parameters, user info and the generated token. These credentials are used for authenticating the user. However, for a real world application, you should generate the user token from your back end. That can be done during sign up or when the user logs in to the application. Over here, the chat user avatar is specified with an image URL and it has an empty string. You can add a network image inside the string. So let's go to the browser. Over here, we are going to use an image from pixum.photos. Let's scroll down. You can click here to get a list of all images. I'll click next to go to the next page. Then I'll click next again to go to page three. Over here, we are going to use this image. So all we need is the ID. Over here, it is specified as 64. To load the image, we can copy this link and go to the Xcode project. I'm going to paste it here. As you saw before, the image ID was 64. So let's change the value here and put 64. The next two parameters define the size of the image. So we have the width and height. Let's make them the same by changing the width value to 300 so that we have a square image. Let's move on to our fifth step. Over here, I will add the following. So we create a channel list component and use it to initialize the channel list controller with a channel list query. The filter parameter here is used to specify the default sort option. It orders the channels by the last updated time. To learn more about channel sorting, you can check the querying channels section of our documentation. I will add a link to the description of the video. Let's move on to the last step, that is step six. Over here, I will add the following. So in this part, we set the channel list as the root of a new UI navigation controller and also make it the root window. So that is all we should do to configure the chat SDK to work with the UI kit app. From the toolbar, you can see iPhone 15 Pro is selected as the simulated device. So let's run the app to see what we have done so far. That presents the built-in chat channels. So we can tap any of the channel list to see the list of messages. So we can perform the same chat operations like we did previously. Let's send a message. We can react to the message by using emoji reactions. We can delete the message or we can edit the message. We can also copy the message and start a new thread. You can use Jiffy commands and also attach a photo, video, file or a document like PDF. You now have a fully functioning chat messaging experience. Let's move on to the next by adding a basic customization. I'll show you how to change the color of the outgoing chat message bubble. Also, I'll show you how to swap the emoji reaction icons with your own implementation. The chat SDK allows you to do two kinds of customizations, basic and advanced. With the basic theming option, you can do things like changing color to suit your brand. You can change typography or fonts and also change icons and images used in the SDK. With the advanced customization option, you can swap SDK provided components with your own implementation. In this tutorial, we focus only on the basic theming option. I will add a link to the advanced customization documentation to this video so that you can check it later if you want to extend what we built in this tutorial. To add a basic customization, we are going to use the SDK's appearance class. Using this class, you can change color, font, and icons in the SDK. Let's add a new file. In the project navigator, I will control click any of the files here and select new file from template. Let's choose the option Coco Touch class and click next. We will name it chat channel view controller and leave the other options as they are and click next. We are going to add it to the target. At the import section, let's import stream chat UI and call the class demo channel view controller. That will conform to the SDK's chat channel view controller. Next, we should swap the default chat channel view controller with our demo channel view controller. 
In order to apply the customization, we should import stream chat UI right below the import. Let's add the apply chat customizations method. So in this method, we should swap the default chat channel view controller with the demo channel view controller we created here. So inside this method, we are going to use the SDK's appearance class. Using the appearance class, we can access visual appearance properties like typography, icons, and colors. All we need to do is to use the appearance class to access the chat bubble component and swap a color. So let's put here appearance.default. So we put appearance.default.color palette. Next, we should assess the default color of the component we want to change. The chat bubble has the color background six. So let's add it here and set it to, for example, green. The last thing we should do is to call the apply chat customizations method in the scene method. So let's add it over here. So that is all we need to do to apply a basic customization to the chat bubble. Let's go ahead and run the app again to see our changes. You can select any of the channel list items to go to the messages view. You have now noticed all the outgoing chat bubbles have changed to a green color. Whenever you tap and hold a message, we get these reaction icons. Let's change the field hat icon to an outline hat icon. There are two versions of each icon. So over here, we have the big icons that shows in the reaction menu. Once we tap any of the reaction icons, we get a smaller version. The blue hat you see here is the smaller version of the hat icon. We need to assess the name of each icon and swap it in order to see the changes. So let's change the hat icon on the reaction menu first. Over here, we swap the default reaction love big icon with an outline hat, which is an SF symbol. Let's run it again to see it in action. When we tap and hold the message bubble, on the reaction menu, we now have an outline hat icon instead of the filled one. Once we tap it, we still get the filled one. Let's change that as well. We can copy this line and paste it here. Then we change the reaction love big to reaction love small. Over here, we are swapping the default version of the smaller hat icon with an outline hat. So let's run it again. So if we now tap and hold the message bubble, we have the outline hat. And once we tap it, we also have the outline hat again. Let's also change the send icon with an SF symbol. So over here, I will paste this line of code. What we are doing here is to swap the default send icon from the SDK. So over here, we are swapping it with this SF symbol, arrow shape dot turn up dot right. If I bring the SF symbols up, that is this symbol. So let's run it to see the changes. You can now see the send icon has now changed to the custom SF symbol. That is the arrow right symbol you see here. You can also change the default font from the SDK in the same way we change the color and the symbols. So for example, instead of specifying image or the color palette here, we can bring the appearance class and use it to access the default font. If I put a period here, you can see we have all these typography types. So you can change the body font and all the other ones if you want. So this is how to build and customize a fully functioning iOS chat messaging app using Swift and UIKit. We have now covered everything you should know to build a fully functioning iOS chat messaging application using Swift and UIKit. We created a chat application that supports offline mode allowing you to send edit messages and send reactions while offline. It supports link previews which generate automatically when we send a link. You can long press any message to send emoji reactions. There is also a thread support so you can start message threads and reply to any message. You also discovered how to modify colors in the chat messaging application to match your brand and style guide. I showed you how to change icons and images in the chat messaging application. We also looked at how to change typography or fonts. I encourage you to check all the links in the description of this video to learn more about all the advanced customization options of the iOS chat SDK and all advanced features. Thanks for taking time to watch this video to the end.